we're going to use some leftovers and canned goods to make a quick and easy dinner that your whole family should love. Welcome to Help at Home, your resource for great recipes and easy learning. I'm Jim Hightower. Today, another quick and easy meal. We're going to take some crescent roll dough sheets. And this is going to be the bottom crust. If you just have a can of crescent rolls and not the dough sheets, just put them together. So, roll this out on the bottom. It won't be perfect, it's bought dough. <laughs> okay, put this in your preheated 350 degree oven. Bake the bottom crust because nobody wants a soggy bottom. It's not good in a child or a dish. In she goes, 10 to 13 minutes. If you're watching this on Tuesday, then Thursday will be a dessert. I think at 350, it probably needs five more minutes. Surprise! <laughs> I changed clothes. I've been filming all day long and I didn't want people to sit there and say, do you only have one shirt? Let's see what we got here. Oh, perfect. Be sure to always use pot holders because if you don't, you'll be sorry. However glamorous or unglamorous it may be, this is a dump recipe. I made it up. I'm going to call it Easy Burrito Bake. It's going to have a bottom crust and a top crust like a burrito's all rolled up. I have leftover hamburger meat seasoned with taco seasoning. Great. Okay, I apologize. My number two camera just ran out of memory. <laughs> so look closer. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's wrong. Okay, I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit on. Even though I'm semi-layering, it's really not a layer. It's some canned sliced olives drained. Just, oh my gosh, that's gonna be good. A little bit of corn. That was country. I said a little bit of corn. Then, throw a little cheese on. There's no measurements for this. It's as little or as much of all the ingredients as you want. So then, just throw you some more meat in there, throw you some more olives and don't burn your wrist on the side of the hot dish, throw you some more corn. You could also consider this a shepherd's pie without the mashed potatoes. I don't really like mashed potatoes. I have consistency issues. Then we just very quickly finish it off. If you're not lucky enough to have meat like this left over, plan ahead, make extra. And then save it for something like, that's just gonna be good. And toss the corn in there. You can leave something out if you don't like those things. If you wanna make a, a zesty burrito bake, you could drain your Rotel, put it right in. There you go. We'll need some more cheese to top it off. Then, get our second roll of crescent dough. I recommend starting at the end and carefully rolling it across. Then you can stretch it out a little bit. Be careful not to tear it, but if you do, who cares? <laughs> it will most likely grow back together when it bakes. Just for good measure, I'm gonna make just a couple of little, maybe more than a couple, but just a few little air holes so that this will definitely get baked all the way through. Put it back in at 350. You know what? It is 375. And check back in 10 minutes. Okay, that's been about 10 minutes. Let's see. That seems to do it. If you like the idea of this recipe, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends because everybody needs new cooking ideas. Drop me a line in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this or if you tried it and what variations you used because you can put pretty much anything in there. Also, you might check out my pecan pie recipe that's gonna be released shortly. It's actually grandma's pecan pie, my grandma's. So there you go. You could even put more cheese on top. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Hightower and remember, everyone needs help, even me.